listen to oh. John Meacham yeah. talking about <laughs> Chase Rebellion and Did the, you get anything done? the intricacies I of love the, French, John. the French and Indian War. It, had, it, it was a painful, uh, dreary slog, Did you I know. Bring but something to but, keep yourself awake. But, but, but talk, talk about what you were able to accomplish, even with Meacham obsessing on Chase Rebellion. Well, everybody, what Joe's referring to is this weekend in Charlottesville, Virginia, at Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's Monticello, uh, they had what they called Look Closer, which was the unveiling of new exhibits, one being of Sally Hemings, of course, who was the woman that was a slave mulatto woman who had six children with Thomas Jefferson. DNA evidence, of course, proved that in the late 90s. But I think what was very important, and I want to encourage every American who can, not only to listen to John Meacham, but also also to go to Charlottesville and go see this exhibit and go see the reinterpretation of how they are giving tours now. And what's important, Joe, the nexus to this moment where we are right now, our history teaches us something, right? The past is prologue. We need to connect the dots. And what Monticello is doing is daring us in this country right now to actually deal with slavery, to look at the fact that uh, this country was built by slaves, that they had a role, that these were people. Sally Hemings was far more than just a woman who had children by a president. She was a girl who spoke French. She negotiated the freedom for all of their children 50 years before African Americans would be freed in this country. She was a young woman who understood that this was her lot in life, but she was going to make the best of it. And she had what her son Madison called extraordinary privileges. So they've done an amazing job there. Go down and see it and, and discover our American history in all of its fullness. And let me end with this. Remember, slavery was legal in this country. Segregation was legal in this country. The Japanese internment was legal. It didn't make it right. It didn't make it moral. And what we're doing in this country right now with these immigrant children and putting them in cages like dogs and animals, it may be legal, President Trump, but it is wrong and it is immoral and it is not who we want to be at this time in our history. And what an incredible story of a woman able to step up under incredibly difficult circumstances. Sophia right. Nelson, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks Sophia. for having me. Coming up, CNBC's John Hart.